Hi guys and welcome to today's test. For today's test, we are once again diving into the wonderful realm of Christmas lights, but this time we're working on interior illumination. How many of you are like me who then have a piece of garden that's pre-lit and a tree that's pre-lit, which is a wonderful thing when it comes to setting it up. But if a light bulb goes out, like for instance, this guy, you'll lose your mind. I kind of swore that I was never going to salvage any of my lights. I was just going to throw them away when they break and get new ones when they don't. But the garland ones with the flocking, the freaking flocking, holy flocking, oh my gosh, I hate the flocking. When they have that on there, they become a little more pricey, so it might be worth saving. And especially where the tree and the flocking came with extra bulbs and fuses, I may as well try to use them. But I don't know if it's worth it when the tool costs 19 bucks. But if you figure out that I'm going to use this for the next few years probably to repair things, or at least it may salvage this tree because I have a few strands that are out, uh, 19 bucks is pretty well worth it. So in order to use this tool, it has a few different settings on it and I'm going to show you them today. A quick rundown of this tool. It comes with a sensor gauge that you're going to run over the wire and the lights. It also has two different settings. One is for LED and one is for incandescent bulbs. You do need to know the difference of your lights and it will say on their package when you get them. A good way to tell is if you can see a bright yellow light inside the bulb, it's incandescent. If you see a little diode that's probably a more white light, most likely, it's going to be LED. Those are pretty relative terms, but for the most part, if you're not getting the effect you want out of it, switch it back and forth and see what you think. You turn it on, and now it's on and ready to start searching for power. It has a few other features. You can stack your lights here or here to test and see if their continuity is good, and then you can plug them in and run the strand through this section to see if you've got maybe a short somewhere. Um, and if you've got a short, then you kind of don't have a choice but to really throw them away. This will be worth my while, and I'm going to show you how to use it, and I've taken the past hour and a half to figure out how to use this thing. First things first, you need to plug your lights in, and I actually have really enjoyed putting this table up here so I'm not on the floor working through it. I remember doing that as a kid, and that just sounds painful to my back right now. So on the table is nice and easy. The garland does get a little bit in the way, but it'll work. So with our settings set to incandescent bulbs, our lights plugged in, we are ready to start testing some bulbs. What you do is run this. Uh-oh. Okay. You start running it to the lights. Once you get the lights, you'll get the full circuit and the continuity, and it will tell you. You'll get a green sound. And you work your way down through all the lights. It recommends that you work from the male end plug to the female end plug, because that's most likely where the problem is. So I just keep working down, following all the lights, and I've gone through this strand already before and figured a few things out. That as I work through all the lights and that obnoxious annoying sound, I get to a certain point. If I can remember where it's at, right here. I've unplugged this second half because I want to see if my problem's in my first half or if I have a problem in both. So I just unplugged it just to be sure. So as you go over the lights that are good, you should get a green sound. If you're not getting a green sound, there's no light bulb there, um, then that's where you first need to address the problem. Right there. That's one that I need to replace. So you pull them out, look at it. This one I can't quite tell if it's blown or not. Sometimes you'll see a black mark on them inside that they're blown. Uh, but those two little wires, oh, this one's missing a wire. That's why. These two little wires that are on each side are what continue the circuit of this light. That's why these go out when one goes out. It's a cheap way to run lights, which is why they do it. But it's also a pain in the butt if you lose one. So you grab one of your new ones that has wires on both sides. Hopefully you guys can see that. The inside looks nice and clear. Um, it is kind of a fogged light but they don't look uh, black in any way. This is a good bulb. Put it back in and, hey, we have got it. Now, something you can do too is go back through and check your bulbs. But I do have a bulb that's out here, just one. And sometimes one bulb that's out won't affect your whole thing, but if you want to replace it, grab a new good bulb, put it back in. Continuity comes back, the strand lights up, and that bulb is good. If your lights go off for any reason and they're a really cheap pair, just replace them. They're so cheap. But with the garland, I didn't really want to, and I wanted to show you guys how to do this video if you don't want to replace them. So now we're going to move on to this next strand and see if we can find its disrepair. So I'm not getting anything. 
There we go, getting green. So I don't know if this one's in that strand or not. We're gonna start there. We'll pull that one. Oh, that one looks like it's still part of that strand. There's quite a few little lights out in here. Okay, that strand's still good. We know that that's good. Work our way down. And the whole time we're just getting around with the bulbs and it actually goes pretty fast with this. I like this system the best. Sometimes you really do need to pay attention though because it won't really show up, but when it gets up by the bulb, it doesn't. But that bulb should be going off. So I would start with that bulb. Let's see, nope, no good. This next one, the continuity actually shows that it's good, but if I look at the bulb, that bulb has a black hue to it. So I know that this one's blown. So it could very well let power come in and that's why it's giving me the green signal, but it's not letting power go back out. So it's gonna give a bad signal. So it did recommend if you have that problem, still switch that light in front of it. This one. Move this disaster of a mess down here. One of the notes it gave is that if you plug it in and you start testing it and you're only getting a red light signal, check the fuses at that point. But since I'm getting a green light signal on certain bulbs, well, I was. So somewhere we've lost it. Okay, that's a good sign. That means that somewhere back in here is probably our bad bulb. So we'll go back until we get a signal. Okay, got green, green, and green. Those are the last two that are good. So we're gonna start with this one. Let's replace this guy. And I can't tell you what really makes them go bad, if they're actually burnt out or not, or anything. All I know is they just like to be a pain in the butt. Here we lose it. Oh, and that one's totally burnt out. It's very visible. See that black little hue at the bottom? It's totally burnt and fried. Maybe that's the culprit. I don't know. Let's check it out. I got continuity again though. That's good. So we're working our way back. That one looks okay. But I'm not getting continuity there. Totally burnt. And I'm running out of lights. This may be the last year for this garland. I want to kind of work my way back from the female end. This is the female end of a outlet if you guys weren't aware. Here's a good opportunity too, is if the bulb is good, you can stick it in there. You should be able to stick it in there. So clearly that bulb is bad. You can stick it in there, and test it, and it should light up, and it's not. Let's try a good one, make sure that works. Well, it was working. Yep, so if you just touch it to that, into that, you'll see that it comes on. So that's a good way to pull the bulb and test if it's a good or bad. I am burning through good bulbs here. <laughs> we did it, we did it. Uh, I mean, was it worth it? I, I there still are some bulbs that are bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and replace some of those maybe. But Bonnie's garland is working. You guys, I hope you've learned something from today's task. Hopefully you've learned how to ornately decorate your house with illumination for Christmas time. Hopefully you've learned how to ornately decorate your house with faux deer and flocking garland. You guys, if you're interested in any of the tools that I used, especially that light checker today, in today's task, I'll leave it in the description down below. And if you like today's video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you guys next time. Hold still. Yes, I can hear you. Just give me 20 minutes. Or like me. How many of you, so that those lights, uh, what am I trying to say? Wrapped and pre wrapped Oh my gosh, lady. You just asleep on the floor? Vaughn, I need your help real quick. Vaughn? Can you come help me real quick? But like, yeah, it, it won't, whatever. Can you still see my face? Mm -hmm. Okay, go. Go away. Read some books. Hey, puppy. I know the power is running through this light switch. Sorry, not a light switch. I'm getting a reading here. I'm still not getting a reading there. That's strange. Some of them are really hard to get out. And use all the flocking.
Garden. Mm, that's it. Okay. <laughs>